Uh, good afternoon. Again, uh, it's uh, about 12.30, 12.40 here in uh, Colorado today. People, I don't know. I have to have you to listen to me today. I hope I don't go over 20 minutes, but it's just so much going on. I have to explain this. I got a, a, a revelation last night, and I have to tell you these things today. I know back to a few years ago, I was at a church, and I was speaking at a church, and the Lord had sent me there to speak, and it was close to the time of Good Friday, close to before Easter appeared. <clears throat> and now that this uh, uh, Jupiter Venus, uh, you know, uh, thing in the sky, uh, as they call it, is going on tonight. I looked at a little bit of it last night from my window. I can just see it west, or we face west. And I viewed the Venus-Jupiter uh, constellation or whatever last night. And I just have some things I have to share with you today. So you just have to just understand me right now, the, how important this is. I posted a link down below. It's from the Hebrew News, and it's talking about this constellation tonight and um, how it hasn't happened for 2,000 years or more, the time when Jesus was born in Bethlehem and the wise men had seen this star. Okay, I will leave the link below. I mean, I've seen a lot of articles on it, but this one explains exactly how I'm feeling about it right now. And I really think that we are on the horizon of a great, the great deception. So I just want you to know, I was at this church back in, it's 2015 now, probably 2012, I was in that church and I was speaking to the people about the same deception that will come. And I'm going to read from the uh, old book of mine, The Great, The Crisis Ahead by Ellen G. White. And, you know, I know some people don't like Ellen G. White, that's their business. I don't care what they like. I, you know, I really have followed her a lot of years when I was, years ago, when I was in the Seventh Day Adventist Church years ago, but I'm pretty much now, I call myself a Messianic, so Messianic Christian. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just the fact that what she says in here, I agree with. And I'm going to read a little bit of it. I was trying to post it below. I was sick of I type it again. I tried to do this three times this morning already. And every time I would erase it by mistake or something. I don't know. It's just the enemy don't really want me to do this. But I'm telling you, this is very urgently that you listen to this. You can go and read and study on your own. You can go and pray on your own. And ask the Lord what you would have him, uh, what what he would have to tell you through his Holy Spirit. But he revealed it to me already. A great deception would come. Now that we got the economy collapsing in Greece, we got uh, Puerto Rico, uh, the money's falling and failing. America is on the on the brink, brink of it any time now. We just had uh, June 30th is another deadline for uh, the Iranian deal with uh, with Obama, and I posted that link down below as Paul Begley is giving his comments on that as well. And I also com uh, posted below uh, the Beast Watch News for the day, which you can click on the link and see the Beast Watch News because it's full of what's going on around the whole globe with this collapse coming and all the things appearing. Um, it's just really, uh, like I said, when you when you tell a nation that they can have a man and a woman, two went two men and two women to marry, and you have you know that's one of the main signs that God said to look for, because if He don't do something about it, it would be worse than what Sodom and Gomorrah was like. So now we having all these things occur. We having earthquakes. We having uh, we just had a plane crash in Indonesia killed the hundreds of people a few minutes ago. We had an eruption in Japan where this, this volcano is erupting. But we just got everything happening today on this June 30th date. date. And tonight, the uh, occurrence of that um, Jupiter Venus. So I'm, I'm going to read from Ellen G. White a little bit. And I'm going to just tell you what she said and what I will give you my opinion, what God told me. And it's on. It's in. Uh, it's in the book, the crisis ahead. 
it's on page 48 and exactly what the Lord whispered to me last night when I went to went to bed I asked him what he had for me to read at this time he told me to go find the crisis ahead and read on page 48 and amazingly on page 48 it the title of it is Satan's personation of Christ so I know without any doubt in my mind that it was from God Almighty the Holy Spirit telling me about this to give you today and to give my families and to warn the world and to warn the people so if I go down to question five, I'm just going to read some of it. Well, I'll read question two, and it says here, um, oh, no, question, yeah, okay, yeah, question three. What will Satan do and say? How will the people respond? At the crowning act in the great drama of deception, Satan himself will personate Christ. The church has long professed to look to the Savior's advent as the consummation of our hopes. Now the great deceiver will make it appear that Christ has come. In different parts of the earth, Satan will manifest himself among men as a majestic being of dazzling brightness. Okay, dazzling brightness, resembling the description of the Son of God given by John in the Revelation. Revelation 1, 13 through 15. The glory that surrounds him is un surpassed by anything that mortal eyes have yet beheld the shout of triumph rings out upon the air christ has come christ has come the people prostrate themselves in adoration before him while he lifts up his hands and pronounces a blessing upon them as christ blessed his disciples when he was upon the earth his voice is soft and subdued yet full of melody in gentile in gentle compassion tones, compassionate tones, he presents some of the same gracious heavenly truths which the Savior uttered. He heals the diseases of the people and then in his assumed character commands all to hallow the day which he has blessed. He declares that those who persist in keeping holy the seventh day are blaspheming his name by refusing to listen to his angels sent to them with light and truth this is the strong almost overmastering delusion like the samaritans who were deceived by simus magus the multitudes from the least to the greatest give heed to those sorceries saying this is the great power of god great controversy 624 625 See what I mean? And that's exactly what God showed me when I went to that church. He told me that when I come, I will not be touching the earth ever again till I touch the, the uh, Jerusalem. You know, when he have the new Jerusalem. I will not be touching the earth. I will not be healing. I will not be doing miracles. He will not, people. He will not be. Only the Antichrist will do these things. Only the great deception, the great... Uh, this uh, false Christ would do this, but not the real Christ, not the one that, you know, sent his son, not Jesus, not the real Jesus. He will not touch the earth anymore. He already left that for us to do, for his disciples to do, for his messengers to do, for his watchmen to do. That's why he gave us authority to bind the enemy and his devils and his demons. And I'm telling you, it won't happen. This would not be the real Christ. So when you see this appear, you know not to go near. He said, do not go in the desert. Do not go in the secret chambers. Do not go anywhere near this Christ that appears that wants to personate him. Do not go near him. And so if I go down to five here, uh, Sister White says again here, Ellen White, she says, Satan came as an angel of light in the wilderness of temptation to deceive Christ. And he does not come to man in a hideous form as he is sometimes represented, but as an angel of light. He will come personating Jesus Christ, working mighty miracles, and men will fall down and worship him as Jesus Christ. We shall be commanded to worship this being. We're going to be commanded to do, come worship this being whom the world will glorify as Christ. What shall we do? Tell them that Christ has warned us against 
such a foe? Who is man's worst enemy, yet who claims to be God? And that when Christ shall make his appearance, it will be with power and great glory, accompanied by 10,000 times 10,000 angels and thousands of thousands. And that when he shall come, we shall know his voice. Do you get that, people? We will know his voice. He said, my sheep, my sheep know my voice. And I'm saying to you, don't be deceived. Do not be deceived. I want to go and read Revelation 1, 13 to 15 from the King James Bible. Um, I may have to get my other Bible. This Bible is... <laughs> This Bible is too old. <laughs> and actually, I just read it from the complete Jewish Bible. It doesn't matter, really. <laughs> I like King James Version here. I like King James Version, but I like the Revelation Version. Okay, Revelation 1. Um, oh, come on here. Revelation 1, 13 to 15. It says here... Um, and I turned around to see who was speaking to me. And when I had turned, I saw seven gold menorahs. And among the menorahs was someone like a son of man wearing a robe down to his feet and a gold band around his chest. His head and hair was as white as snow, white wool. His eyes was like a fiery flame. His feet like a burnished brass refined in a furnace. And his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. In his right hand he had seven stars, out of his mouth went a sharp double-edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining in full strength. When I saw him, I fell down at his feet like a dead man. He placed his right hand upon me and said, Don't be afraid, I am the first and the last, the living one. I was dead, but look, I was alive forever and ever, and I heard, hold the keys to death and hell, so write down what you see, both what is now and what will happen afterwards. Here is the secret meaning of the seven stars you saw in my right hand. And the seven gold menorahs and the seven stars are the angels of the seven messianic communities. And the seven menorahs are the seven messianic communities. Anyway, it's just letting you know. It's just giving you that uh, text because it's, showing, it's telling you that everything that Everything that Christ did when he was on earth, Satan is going to try to personate him. And that's why a lot of people will be deceived. A lot of people will be deceived. So if you see, if this star thing appear tonight, which it will, and NASA is behind it, everybody's behind it. And you know, I'm telling you, it's, it can be the great deception right in our eyes. Because if they have aliens coming down, whatever they decide to do to deceive you, do not believe it. Christ will not touch the earth when he come again. He will not. He will, he, you, we will meet him up in the air. And he, earthquakes and all these things are occurring now, all these things going on around us now, all these great, all this stuff happening today is just to set it up to deceive you. So do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. So um, before I finish here again, I just... I, I just I, I was just amazed at this last night when he gave it to me. Okay, I'm gonna read this little scripture also from Ellen White again. In this age, Antichrist will appear as a true Christ, and then the law of God will be fully made void in the nations of our world. Rebellious against God's holy law will be fully ripe. But the true leader of all this rebellion is Satan clothed as an angel of light. Men will be deceived and will exalt him to the place of God and defy, defy him. But omnipotent um, um, I can't, um, will interpose and to the apostate churches that unite in the exaltation of Satan, the sentence will go forth. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. So this is what I'm saying. We got all these things going to happen. And we, need to be, we really need to know who our God is. We need to know who he is. 
We need to know who he is. Spiritualism has taken over. That's why when I pray my prayer, my spiritual warfare prayer, I said, please, Lord, we don't need, we don't, we don't need, uh, uh, we don't need these spirits. We don't need these uh, territorial evil spirits, every principality, power spirits, rule of darkness, wicked spirits in high places, all familiar spirits, witchcraft spirits, voodoo spirits, Kabbalah spirits, Hindu spirits, Buddha spirits, new age spirits, astrology spirits, Islamic spirits. We don't need these spirits. They are all of the devil himself. They all come from the devil himself. And we should only worship the true and living God, Yahweh, Yah Yah Yeshua HaMashiach. Like it says in Revelation 16, 13, 14, it talk about little by little, he has prepared the way for his masterpiece of deception and the development of spiritualism. He has not yet reached the full accomplishment of his designs. But it will be reached in the last remnant of time, says the prophet. I saw three unclean spirits like frogs. They are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Revelation 16, 13, 14. Except those who are kept by the power of Yahweh God through faith in his word, the whole world will be swept into the ranks of this delusion. The people are fast being lulled to a fatal security to be awakened only by the outpouring of the wrath of God. The wrath of God. It's a sad world today, people. It's sad. It's sad that we had to come to a, such a time as this, but this is the time because Yeshua is soon to come. Praise God. Hallelujah. My God is soon to come. I can't wait to see his face. I've seen his face once uh, after one of the feast days had passed about two or three years ago. It was such a wonderful sight to see. And I can't wait till he come again in all in the clouds with all the tens of thousands of holy angels with him. He will not be coming to do miracles on earth ever again. You just, you know, only time he do miracles when you ask him and his Holy Spirit touch your body. But other than that, you know, he will not be coming as a human being or man walking on the earth ever again. He will take us up to be with him in the air and be into a new Jerusalem. And I can't wait for that time to come. Fearful sights of a supernatural character will soon be revealed in the heavens. In token of the power of miracle working demons, the spirits of devils will go forth to the kings of the earth and of the whole world to fasten them in deception and urge them on to unite with Satan in his last struggle against the government of heaven. By these agencies, rulers and subjects will be alike deceived. People will arise pretending to be Christ himself and claiming the title and worship which belong to the world's redeemer. They will perform wonderful miracles of healings and will profess to have revelations from heaven contradicting the testimonies of the scriptures. I'm telling you that, that Miss White was a wonderful woman of God. She, people have put her down and throw her books away and all that. But I'm telling you, the woman was a, just like John was a revelator, and just like you have uh, Ezekiel and all the prophets and Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all the prophets and so on. So God has His people always to give us warning and signs. And you know, just because it don't happen when you think it should happen, it doesn't mean they're a false prophet. So I really respect Ellen G. White's uh, writings, and her early writings are really one of the, some of the best. But anyway, I'm going to go. My time is running here. Please, please, please get your What's Behind the New World auto copy. This is where we are heading. The Pope will be here in September. It's just all these things are being prepared so we can be deceived. Be deceived. Do not be deceived. You have no right to be deceived. God have given us lots of warnings. Jonathan Kahn is warning you. A lot of people are warning you. He will have his prophets and he will have his, uh, the two witnesses appear soon in Jerusalem. Right now, ISIS is trying to take down Jerusalem, trying to take down the temple, trying to uh, uh, threaten the Christians already today as I speak right now. 
And we need to really be about our father's business people and witness and tell others and know that this is the time. This is the time. Salvation now is the time of salvation. So may God bless you. Look at the links below. Have a great day. Watch the star tonight if you can in your area. But pray, pray, pray that you'd be not deceived. You have a wonderful day until I, the next video. God bless.